really nasty violent uh, violent offence. He actually dragged her uh, into here so that she was away from the houses so nobody could uh, hear her screaming and then started uh, tying her up using, uh, using stockings. Mimi. She was, uh, she was gagged and she fought right the way through trying to get away from this man because uh, she knew what was going to, uh, going to happen. The attacker taunted the 18-year-old girl and then raped her. He told me, I'm going to have sexual intercourse with you. He used those exact words and then he raped me. So really, really nasty, vicious, uh, vicious attack. Yet again, he fled the scene. Taking the girl's black black hair shoes with him. All red survivors will take different amounts of time to heal. Some uh, may a year or two, um, some it can be a lifetime. And I do think rape is a lifelong sentence. When we came back to do the fingertip search in the area, we found the stockings that had been used to tie her up. We found rope that had been used to tie her up. And we found a number of bits of her property that had actually been stolen by him, but obviously left uh, left behind. While conducting the fingertip search of the crime scene, the police discover what could be a crucial piece of evidence. A man's gold signet ring. Could it have been lost during the rape? Could this ring belong to the shoe maker? The violence with each of the offences had, uh, has had increased and uh, when you get to this stage and we're talking about a knife being uh, being used, we really did think that somebody was going to finish it with some very serious injuries if we didn't actually uh, find out who this man was. But by January 1987, the police still had no suspects and no one had identified the signature. The case was going cold. Months passed and the case got even colder, when the rape attack seemingly stopped. He suddenly seemed to stop, there was no more, uh, there was no more offences reported, uh, we'd no idea why this person had stopped, we looked at people who'd gone to prison, people who uh, had uh, died in uh, suicide or any other way to try and you know, identify why these offences had suddenly stopped, um, but we never, uh, we never knew why they'd stopped, they just did stop. For more than three years, the shoe rapist terrorised the women of Rotherham. He'd carried out at least six rapes and sexual assaults. The police had no idea who he was. He'd simply vanished. As with all police inquiries, after a set time, when you've done everything you reasonably can, then the inquiry uh, closes down, the incident room closes down, and then every so many years, then we will have a look at it again and see if there's anything uh, fresh that will give us the answer. The year is 2001. It's not only the town of Rotherham that's changed. Police procedures have improved and forensic science has been revolutionised.